Dr. Mulya, uh, you know, just to get a sense from you that everyone obviously around the table believes that vaccination is obviously key. But let's assume, Dr. Mulyal, that we are not able to ramp up in the way that we, ha we have wanted to because there are acute shortages and it is taking time to ramp up production and import vaccines. Uh, if we can't ramp up to the fullest extent, but we're still kind of sputtering along, even then, will we see the, the sort of the numbers start to fall uh, automatically or is that not a given? This particular... I hope my voice is clear. Yes. I had a technical problem. But I, it's important to remember that this transmission of the virus, mm. if you try to attempt by vaccination, it may not be the most smartest thing at the moment. The reason is you will find, despite vaccination, transmission going on. A priority must be in the hospital where your mortality has to be cut down with efficient management. Because that is the only hope we have. There's no vaccine available. Now, we, our focus should be in hospital, other inner supplies, other inner staff, and are we taking care of them? Real care. That's number one. When it comes to the virus transmission going on, mm. it is frightening in certain areas, but also it's coming down in other areas. Mm. Each infection also is like a vaccination. Mm. There is an immunity developed in people. We will not argue now how long it will last, but it is of help temporarily at least. Okay. And that should not be forgotten. So right. those numbers that we count also are temporary vaccination at least. So in our calculation of disease control, mm. it has to be filled. The, by the way, the current evidence shows the no, no, infection-induced immunity is quite good, excellent in fact. Okay. So once you put in the factor, we know our section. With vaccine, what I expect to happen yeah. is sudden fall in death, not transmission. And that's why vaccination, I miss so much. 